Hello everyone, I am Port Scientist 7 and welcome to another Polycore video for Destiny 2. So, hey guys, I'm back again from the story mission we played earlier. So, time, we can finally actually head to uh, the quarter in the last city for the continuation of Season of Splicer's beginning. So we're heading to the Aliski, Aliski Quarter, as I said before, I can't, the Aliski, Aliski, I can't say their name correctly. So, uh, I'm going to be talking uh, when I need to, but when the dialogue comes up, uh, I'll zip my mouth. So, for, next thing you have to do after you do the main story mission, which we just did, is head to um, this location, the Alessi Quarter. I repeat myself too much, and listen to the pretty sweet dialogue. Alright, so, let's walk up to him. My people shelter beneath the great machine. This is beyond simple generosity. I must thank Ikora for her gift. This sanctuary is not granted by Ikora alone, but by all who live in the last city. Yes, and on their behalf, let me extend my welcome. I am Osiris, and this is Lakshmi too future war court leader and city representative. My greatest appreciations to you both. The House of Light thanks you. Your house can best show gratitude by caving to the Sector. I know your assistance with the Vex will benefit us all, but not everyone in the city is so open-minded. You appear to be settling in. I would leave you to it. If you require further help from us, you must only ask. Uh, I shall. There are several modifications we will need for stable ether production. Submit a proposal to Ikora. She seems willing to get you anything you need. I must return to the people in the city. Future War Court has foreseen great misery for them in the days ahead, and they will need an advocate. I often forget how highly those in the tower have placed themselves. The air is thin there. Best not to breathe too much of it. You must understand this situation is tense for us all. This encampment perches on the edge of decree and democracy. I hope your stay with us will be Uneventful. As do I. Alright. After that little bit of dialogue, you should get your next quest step. Location updated. Alright. It is time to head to the helm. And we're going to head to the Servitor Splicer. Or Splicer Servitor, I should say. Oh, I believe that's what it's called. So you got a cool little Eliski uh, fallen area. Look at that. It's pretty sweet. Humans and the fallen finally working together after hundreds of years, centuries fighting. Let's check this out. And the uh, location is down there, so go down these stairs over here. And walk up right up to the servitor. There'll be some more dialogue to play, and then you should get your next quest step from here. Yeah, uh, that should be your artifact, actually. So, pick, um, go. You can read up the dialogue. You can just press pause here and read everything if you haven't done this part of the campaign or season. Pick up your um, seasonal artifact. And next you should have, yeah. Guardian, I greet you in the light. It is I, Mithrax, or Mithrax, as your people say. I speak to you through a servitor we liberated from the House of Salvation. It fuels our camp now, turning raw matter into the ether we need to survive. I will use it to study the paradrome cube you recovered from the Vex. 
In this way, it will provide for us both. We are settling into your city. You may have seen the work of the House of Light scribe Ido, my daughter. She has been creating a chronicle of our journey. But there will be time for that later. This city holds great scholars and warriors. Ikora, Osiris, Lakshmi too, even a saint. They have agreed to aid in your fight against the machines. And I will be your guide. I am a sacred splicer. One who can touch the light rippling through the Vex networks. For the light is all. The wind through the grass, and the motion of galaxies. In this way, I can see into the Vex domain. But you... Your abilities might grow beyond mine. I have prepared something for you. A splicer gauntlet, the first made for a non elixni The ether it pulls from defeated foes will let you override the Vex signals. Push back and enter the machine domain as you did on Europa. Bring me data from within and together we will discover its secrets. Fight bravely. Free your people from this endless night. Pretty quick, pr pretty sweet, yeah? Alright, so just like the um, helm and the... Kind of like the same upgrade system. Go ahead and buy the mods when they're available. So get into your splicer gauntlet and input the first key code. So you can start your first mission. Now I'll update the quest line and you just have to go and do the first override mission, I believe. So the first override mission can be located within the destination menu. It is actually um, right next to the helm, I believe. Let's see, uh, yep, yeah, there it is. So you just go ahead and you can just load this up. Uh, I should mention that uh, I actually left that. There we go. Sticky keys on the controller. All right. So once you load into the mission, uh, you gotta go and do the override mission. So it's kind of like Gambit. I'm gonna admit, or it's kind of like those um, seasonal arrivals and putting moats into a machine. So you kill the Vex. And you pick up what you um, they're dropping, these little purple moats, called uh, data moats. Yeah, very clever on the name, don't you? So you can hold up to, I think, 10 to 15 moats, and you put them in. You have a little milestone marker right there in the corner when you uh, can put them in. So yeah, uh, all the enemies drop. Uh, they just drop quite easily, like can so I recommend just going in there usually with a sword or maybe a shotgun. Auto rifle is definitely something useful with all the Vex shields. If you're using non hunger like I am using here. Void weapons are best. There are some champions. I think barrier champions are the most likely ones to sit, um, are seen. There are overload champions. Uh, when you go through the Vex portal, right there you saw how it, uh, one of our teammates had went through. So you bank your moats, and there you go. And as you're going through the activity, um, you get closer and closer to the next objective. Once you hit the max um, amount of moats, oh, there's an open one actually. Okay, so once you hit the max amount, you, uh, the, I guess the splicer encryption locks up. And there'll be these little, I guess, oracles spawning in a few minutes, so you should fight off the ways of enemies. Once the waves of enemies have been um, sufficiently killed, I believe it's these uh, detectors that you have to remain to the bodyguards, the champions that appear, as well as the cyclopses that are hidden up the rubber. Those guys will snipe you. So once those guys uh, disappear, you'll have, look over here, these little oracles. So you really can't do anything with, um, 
to the white ones, you have to wait until they turn red, like you see over there, and our teammate just destroyed one. So, look for a red one, just shoot it, and it destroyed it. Once you destroy the red ones, um, uh, more enemies will spawn. And so you gotta defend yourself and keep destroying the red oracles. Once you destroy about three or four, uh, platforms will spawn. You and your team will go up the platforms and make your way up to the top platform. Once you do that, um, get to the top, you actually hack the terminal. You do that about three or four times, and right there you see, this is our last go right here. And then you go into, um, just like in the story mission, you go down into, um, I guess a little portal into the Vex domain. Which is different from their little simulation ones. From here, you're going to make your way to the boss fight with your team. This is a six player activity over at this, which is actually pretty fun to do when you're with a group of people. And down below, there's some kind of terminal. I have no idea what that little green one is, but you just want to make your way down to the boss fight right here. And you'll see, um, to start the encounter, you hack the Vex complex. Now, there, there is a terminal right there so you can moat um, so you can actually um, dunk not moat but it's a what's it called a data splinter it's actually part of one of your weekly challenges and each data splinter that you input into the game or into the device during this boss fight will give you about eight percent so, as you see in the back, there's an enemy with an icon above their head. It's usually a champion. This one's a barrier. Stakes is freezing. So, look, drop the little one. I, I believe it's a data splinter. Yeah. So, you take this. Um, you're actually supposed to take it, go over here. Just break this real quick. And off to your right, there's the, the terminal, or I guess the place you dunk the splinter. And once you do that, uh, I don't know if that actually activates the boss fight or if it was destroying these complexes. But once you do three phases of the boss, you're done. Alright, once you finish, um, you should be at to go to Ikora. So now it's at Ikora. some time since you and I have worked together. That's going to change. As internal affairs falls under my purview, you'll be reporting to me for this operation. Mithrax has kept his promise. His splicers work tirelessly to decode the data you pulled from the Vex network. Zavala and I have every confidence that this was the right decision. Years of hidden operations coming to fruition in our time of need. The Elixni would say, the great machine provides. But if Osiris hadn't suggested we contact Mithrax directly, all our outreach could have been wasted. Guardian, we are all made to believe that loss is how we grow. It took me decades to see that it is not the pain we learn from but the risk, the chances we take, and the strength to see them through. Here in the city, every new life can begin in peace, without fear, without loss. We need only set aside the past. While you're in the field, I've asked Saint-14 to oversee the Elixni settlement. If we can turn the Kellbreaker into an advocate for House Light, then others will follow. I hope he's feeling generous. Where the darkness seeks to divide us, we need only offer out a hand. And there you go. Once you get to the end of Icor's dialogue, 
Um, next place you want to go is to the helm and head over to this hollow terminal and you'll be listening to a quick message from the future world cult leader about her suspicions about the fallen and all that. And then after that, you can listen to a quick terminal mission from the crow and then head over on to the splicer server. When I requisitioned this transmitter, I was told the helm would be a secure location. I suppose this will have to do. Greetings, Guardian. I'm Lakshmi II of the future war cult. And I'm here to offer my assistance. Because you need it quite badly. The future war cult has long used Vex-derived technology to see into the future. I won't bore you with an explanation of mind forking. Suffice to say, we understand its dangers and use the device responsibly. I have glimpsed our future, Guardian. And what I saw was chilling. Skies dark with smoke, shouting, gunfire, and in the center of it all, standing in our city, the group of fallen, the same fallen I saw earlier. Ikora listened to my report, but she chose not to hear it. The vanguard would rather protect its image than its people. And so I will handle things myself. We can change this future. Stop it from happening. While I monitor your progress against the Vex and assist where I am able, I will observe these fallen. If they begin to act against us, well... When I foresaw the Red War, they laughed until Gaul bound a traveler. This time, I will not whisper my warnings. I will not be polite. I look forward to working with you, Guardian. Together, we can protect our city from all who would wish it harm. I can't say I'm enjoying lying low, Commander. It reminds me of the old days. But, hey, I'm nothing if not good at following orders. If it was my choice, I'd be there helping you get the Elixir settled in the city. Might be hard to believe, but they're more like us than you think. Just give them a chance, like you did for me. The Lask. That's how they say hello. So you know. And now we're here at the server. I have felt your conflicts with the Vex from here, and your victories. This area is a crossroads. Many threads connect this city to the Vex. They seek to use their simulation to drain the light from this place. Bend it to their will, just as you seek to disrupt their network. But while you fight for survival, their motives are unclear. The network connection cannot be broken without destroying your city. Both are bound now, and one must fall for the other to survive. Every Vex you destroy sends ripples across this false dark sky. I do not know how many must fall to end the simulation they have created, but the data they guard hides the answer. We will study it together. This is my word in the light. 
And now just pick up that and you finish your quest mission. There you go. That was actually a pretty long video. Uh, there's a lot of dialogue. I wanted y'all to listen to it. If you don't get a chance to play, at least get to listen to some of the interesting information. Next week's video, though, for the quest will be uh, shorter. Uh, I'll keep it strictly to the dialogue and to my opinions and suggestions. Now, you can go ahead and pick up your first upgrade. I'm going to pick up the memory expansion. Like with the hammer, I wanted to expand the amount I could carry for like charges and the amount of uh, ether, I guess, in this case, to hold. So this will come, um, in my opinion, that's probably the best thing to pick out first. Others may choose a different path, but I like to go with capacity and availability first. So I want to thank you all for watching today's video uh, with Polycore Media. Um, right here, by the way, is two challenges. So yeah, as I stated earlier, you just uh, one of the challenges. I recommend going to the Cabal Battlegrounds, by the way, for this one. That is probably the easiest way you can complete this challenge after you have completed your story quest line for the week. And then for the second challenge, it had stated it needs, what, five complete, five override missions. Pretty easy. And then the other over, um, pick up those data splitters or that I picked up and you saw me banking in that. Gives you 8%. So you'll probably need to complete about 12 in there. No, probably about, yeah, no, about 12. So yeah, here's the battlegrounds. If you don't know where the location is, it's in the Vanguard menus. And I want to thank you all for joining me today. Um, this was a pretty good, um, well, how would I say? It? Pretty good video, pretty good start of the season. Oh, except for the three hour wait for everyone getting kicked out. So hopefully no more errors or anything will pop, prop up on us. And honestly, I want to see more about how these Alexi will develop and be part of our story. So, I'm Port77, and this is another Polycore Media. Please like, subscribe, and, and have a nice day.